Joining me now is senior political producer Jill Jackson. She's here for Unplug's weekly series, Hot Ads of the Week. Hi, Jill. How are you? I'm great. What have you got for us this week? Some fun ones, I hope. We have some fun ones. Our first ad is, is sort of serious. It's uh, from Democratic candidate Betsy Markey of mm -hmm. Colorado. She's running in a very tough race for her second term representing Colorado in the House. Got it. Let's take a look. Washington politicians are always bragging about big accomplishments. But as a small businesswoman, that just sounds like more big spending to me. So I voted against the Wall Street bailouts, pushed to cut congressional salaries for the first time in 77 years, and fought for small business tax credits that create Colorado jobs. I'm Betsy Markey, and I approve this message because Washington thinks spending more money is always the answer. And here in Colorado, that's not how we do business. So what makes this a hot ad? Well, what's interesting about it, it's a theme we're seeing from many Democrats and Republicans this election cycle, that she's a small businesswoman, and that's the that's what she really wants to put out there. Not that she's a congressperson. No right. one wants you to be seen as You wouldn't even know Washington. that from the ad that exactly. she's in Congress or that she's a Democrat. Or that she's a I don't Democrat. think she mentions that. Exactly. I was uh, talking to one expert today who said that anybody who's run so much as a popsicle stand is advertising that they... Uh, that they have business experience. It's all about business experience exactly. right now. Exactly, and she did have an internet consulting firm that she started with her husband, but uh, at the same time, she also raises one thing about how she voted against Wall Street bailouts, but mm -hmm. as a one-term congressperson, she wasn't there for the big tarp, mm -hmm. so she may have voted against things that that uh, you know were, were not necessarily friendly to Wall Street or voted against things that were friendly to Wall Street, but she certainly didn't vote for what people think of when they think of Wall Street bailouts. And she's in a really tough race, right? Because Very she tough. won in a district that John McCain won mm -hmm. in uh, 2008, and she's a Democrat, so she's Northeast got enough. Northeast Colorado, a tough, very tough conservative. conservative. Yeah. So it was a lot of people were surprised she even won in 2008. Got it. Okay, what's our second hot our ad of the week? Actually, our next two ads are both from the Florida Senate race, which, as you know, is a three-way race. We have. Uh, Charlie Crist here. He's running as the independent Florida's governor right here. How do we get results for Florida? By putting aside our differences and putting people ahead of politics. Washington needs to stop all the finger pointing and focus on our common goals of fixing the economy, creating jobs, helping the middle class. As an independent, I will take the best ideas of Democrats and Republicans to get things done. Because at the end of the day, there's only one party I work for. I'm Charlie Crist, an independent, and I approve this message. That's a clever bit of rebranding. It is. It's sort of rise above it all. One thing that has bothered many people who've watched this ad, though, is if you notice in Americans, the M is red and the I is blue. Well, there's no I in Democrats, no red. Ah. <laughs> so some people have watched this very closely, okay. including the Meek campaign. Uh -huh. <laughs> pointed out Meek campaign pointed out the I to me. Um, you know, but at the same time, what right. he's trying to do is, is very much rise above it all. Mm -hmm. He's going to let Rubio, the the Republican, and Meek, the Democrat, really mm -hmm. sort of battle it out on the partisan level, and he's going to seem like the mature one who's responsible, who's, he gets in the little anti-Washington jab there himself, mm -hmm. um, but he, he comes off as a problem solver in that ad. And as we all know, Governor Charlie Crist was a Republican. He left the Republican Party to become an independent when it looked like he was not going to win the Republican primary, and so he's trying to turn what was a negative, the fact that he was trailing in the Republican primary, into a positive, which is that he's an independent and he's there for all Floridians. Exactly, but one thing that another that some Democrats have pointed out is that there aren't many specifics in that ad either. Right. Unlike right. It's the just third a feel-good ad. ad. Oh, the third <laughs> ad is, is a lot of fun. This is the Meek ad, right? This is the Meek ad, the Democratic candidate for Florida, mm -hmm. and uh, he really lays it all out as to where he stands. Let's take a look. I'm Kendrick Meek, the Democrat for Senate, and with three of us running, you should know what makes me different. I'm the only one who's fought against developers draining the Everglades. The only one against offshore oil drilling before and after the BP spill. The only one against privatizing Social Security. Yeah. The only one who's pro-choice. Who took on George Bush. Who's far from middle class tax cuts. Against high credit card fees. And to raise the minimum wage. I'm Kendrick Meek and I'm the only one who can approve this message. 
You know what stands out the most about that ad is that the other ads in his primary, in fact, all these primaries in Florida have been so nasty, you walk away hating all of the candidates that it's kind of refreshing just to see somebody saying something positive. Exactly. It's very, it's, you've got the bouncy music mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you have him saying exactly, you know, he's probably the only Democrat in a competitive race this cycle who's really running on a as a liberal, as right. a Democrat, he's very proud of it. His, I'm pro-choice. Yes, yep. pro-choice. He, he got a little jab in on Social Security there, mm -hmm. but cheering senior citizens. He, who doesn't love that? Exactly. You know, fighting against credit card fees. Who doesn't love that? He mm -hmm. really it comes off as very positive, but mm -hmm. does uh, you know he makes some points that he wants to make on his record. Mm -hmm. uh, he also his campaign you know pointed out to me we're probably the only people who uh, had a Pelosi robocall during the primary. Mm -hmm. um, they really are embracing the Democratic role because of the, that's what he has to do to make himself different in this three-way race. Right. Most people running away from the Democratic label or even any incumbent label in this anti-incumbent year.